taxpayers, at least in theory here. We also know that just beyond those trees, that spire right up there, that is Trump Hotel. Whether all of that played a role in the president's decision, that's what we don't know and what Democrats and others are hoping to find out. Well, it's only a block away. Uh, Tom Foreman, thank you very much for that report. Let's bring back Congressman Mike Quigley of Illinois, a member of the Intelligence Committee. Congressman, you signed on to this letter asking for more information on the president's role in all of this. Uh, but even the emails that were already released from GSA officials mentioned direction from the White House, what POTUS directed everyone to do, and, and the president's instructions. So what else are you hoping to learn? Well, let's understand something. Last April, I asked the GSA administrator under oath whether the president or anyone at the White House was involved in the discussions on this decision about the FBI building. She said no. The inspector general said that uh, she misled us. Uh, I suppose that's a D.C. euphemism for a lie. So uh, uh, I'd like her to come back before my subcommittee and answer that question accurately. Who was at that meeting in the White House when they made this decision? What was said? What did the president say? Was anything said about uh, the Trump Hotel? The bottom line is, as a result of this opaque administration, we are less safe and we're spending more money. Because if they sell that property on Pennsylvania Avenue, where the current FBI building is, uh, they can sell that for hundreds of millions of dollars, which would dramatically reduce the cost of building a new FBI headquarters, whether in Maryland, suburban Maryland, or a suburban Virginia. If you try to knock it down and rebuild it where it is right there, it's going to cost a lot more. And we were told post 9-11, time and again, during Democrat and Republican administrations, that it uh, is extraordinarily important for them to move out of that location for security reasons, to have a bigger footprint, uh, to have more operations there to keep us safe to deal with anti-terrorism strategies. So uh, someone wants to tell me, someone wants to come before the committee or any other committee and explain how we're more safe, how it's cost efficient to be downtown with this facility, I'm more than willing to listen. But the only logical answer at this point is that it doesn't keep us safe, doesn't save money. The only thing it does right now is benefit Trump Hotel. The president has not divested himself from this uh, interest. In the end, when he stops being president of the United States, uh, he gains to profit. And the fact that there's a, not a hotel across the street competing with him, he's the one that profits. Congressman Mike Quigley, uh, thanks so much for joining us.